um today as you see in the caption i'm actually going to be sharing with you guys how to actually overcome public speaking and go ahead like comment and subscribe so every time i do drop some hot shit y'all mugs know what's going on public speaking okay so that's already a touchy subject already um for me um it was very hard i actually have a speech impediment so i have to take time with my wordings i have to take time thinking my thinking process and i actually have to um my anxiety like really like my anxiety be flaring up so anyway how to actually overcome public speaking um first of all you have to be comfortable knowing um who you are and what you represent and when i say that you have to know that you the shit you have to believe in yourself you have to actually love yourself and actually um i don't know like because with public speaking if anyone everyone's going to experience that honestly if you go to school if you you know what i'm saying you're just anything you're gonna have to actually speak in front of a crowd if it's five six or if it's thousands it's a crowd and so i actually was in network marketing uh a years back and at that time i did not know what public speaking was you know what i'm saying i knew that every time when i was in school i would get nervous shut down and can't remember shit when I get in front of the class when I'm trying to present a project or something. Not knowing that was called public speaking. And we didn't, at that time in schools, we didn't have classes that teach you how to overcome things like that. For us, especially um, black people, just being frank, you know, we tend to not pronounce certain wordings right we actually don't know how to you know communicate and actually talk so with that being said like we actually need help and hopefully this video actually help you guys out with actually overcoming public speaking but like i was telling you guys when i was in network marketing um at that time we had a product that we actually had to go and um present to a lot of different people we had something that that we actually had to be around a lot of people we as they call they they would call it um travel parties something like that and the travel party of course with that name is a party and it's going to be multiple people and so at that at this party you know we're actually just like school we're actually presenting a project to them on this big scream I'm talking i got a clicker in my hand i'm looking around trying to engage people you know and that's 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 another hard thing to actually uh having people wanting to listen to you especially when you're speaking because that can that can cause you to throw off your mojo too when you're actually trying to speak when someone's not feeling you or actually respecting you when you are talking it's gonna make you feel some type of way you might shut down and it might throw you off with your public speaking but it goes back to knowing that you the shit and that what you got going on is it is important as hell and y'all finna listen even if you are on your phone and stuff but even if you was baby we told you to get out you ain't on your phone that's disrespect period you ain't finna do that all right so like when i say you need the you can practice get you someone that actually that you trust that's not going to judge you what i'm trying to say is you know get with someone that has good public speaking you know and that can actually teach you hell sit down write out some cue cards hell act like it is a crowd you know wherever you are and speak you know it builds it builds your confidence up like it actually built my confidence up like now i'm actually able to talk hell when i used to then i used to squeak i used to have this weird ass fucking squeak in my voice when i get nervous like a high-pitched voice like it was so bad like i start my anxiety will flare up i'm getting hot i'm just like you gonna you see that i'm nervous as hell to speak like my stomach start hurting and you know it's normal people that's that's a fear you know that's just the emotional you know feeling but you can always replace that when you know what you got going on so like i said you know give someone that you can actually 
uh, practice with, you know, um, hell, have gatherings, you know, even if, because a lot of people, they feel comfortable with speaking when they have people that they know in the room, you know what I'm saying? So have gatherings, you know, at your house, like if you do like a, um, a game night, uh, oh, ooh, we're having Mexican Hispanic night tonight, food, and you're just talking, y'all playing games, that's a, you know, that's another way of public speaking as well, you know what I'm saying, it's easy, it's just we get in our mind when we are in a, in a certain setting, we, we already feel a low-key intimidated, and we actually, you know, we want to be so perfect, you know, and no one's perfect, you're going to mess up, you know what I'm saying, you're going to stutter a little bit, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, as long as you pick it back up and you're good, you straight. And one thing before I do go, you guys, that's really important with public public speaking because we all know with public speaking um you're talking about something specific you know it's something that you know you either love it's something that you do you know it's something that you know that you want you want to inform someone with you know so but in order to actually um be able to speak on something you have to have passion for it you have to really um, know what you got in your hand, know what you finna present to someone. Cause when you don't know what you're talking about, people know that and people see that and they feed off of that. And of course, you know, it's going to make you feel some type of way of someone looking at you kind of crazy or sign on you like, Ooh, she don't know what she's talking about. Or like, Ooh, this is something that she's really not passionate about. Cause people feel that you have to really believe it goes back to what I was telling you guys. You have to know that you're the shit. You have to trust in yourself, trust in the shit that you are finna talk about. You know what I'm saying? You have to trust in that. How the hell can you get someone else to believe in your shit when you don't even really believe in it? It goes back to that. So, you guys, I hope this information was informative to you guys because public speaking is very big, especially now. A lot of people are actually, you know, talking to plenty of people. Like, now, this is public speaking for me on YouTube. So, I have to be, um, I have to know what the hell I'm talking about. I have to be true. I have to be real. And I have to actually... You guys actually have to let me know that if I'm doing it right. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you guys the right information. You guys can feel it. So, I'll see you guys next time. And I hope this information did help you guys. Bye, Rosebuds.